Hello again and welcome back to Eco Dream Venture. My name is Calvin Simmons and today we're going to show you how Powerline Ace, also known as SureStreamer, will empower your Aztec HL110 EP Powerline adapter enough for you to ignore all four impractical restrictions recommended by Powerline experts. Now Powerline Ace is based on a US patent application with priority claim dated on March 17, 2008. Now this patent application seeks to provide solutions to all inherent problems that have been plaguing the Powerline industry for the past 10 years in order to make Powerline adapters practical, effective and safe. Now strangely enough, many Powerline adapters have been emerging with AC pass-through um, outlets probably since 2009, even after 10 years of being in limbo, where inherent problems have caused Powerline adapters to become impractical as you are unable to use the same power or a power strip, uh, uh, inconsistent as you are unable to achieve the advertised connection rate of your Powerline adapters, and unsafe from lightning as you are unable to use a common SPD or surge protection device with your uh, power line adapter. Hence, today we will prove four things to you by this video demonstration. Number one, we will prove that Powerline Ace has indeed overcome all inherent problems plaguing the power line industry. Number two, we will show you that the Aztec HL110 EP power line adapter does enable um, power sharing and will um, improve your connection rate to a certain extent. And then we will show you that number three, that by plugging your Aztec um, a power line adapter onto the power line Ace without going through the AC pass through circuit, we will enhance or we will improve furthermore the connection rate of your power line adapter by approximately 20 Mbps and on top of that provide lightning protection for all interconnected equipment and your power line adapter. Number four, we will prove to you by that direct comparison and with the same conditions in this setup that Powerline Ace has managed to create an environment that is better for your Powerline networking setup. So here we go. Now in this setup here, it's a, a very common um, Powerline adapter networking setup. Again, you have the PS3 game console, a couple of laptops, four port switch, of course your Aztec HL110 EP power line adapter, and your 42 inch LCD TV, all of which are joint power supply from the single wall outlet. We have intentionally followed all four impractical restrictions, so if you look closely, you'd note that the interconnected equipment power supply has been switched off. The Aztec HL110 EP power line adapter is plugged directly to this power strip without going to any common SPD or surge protection device. We have a noise generating equipment in the form of a cell phone charger, which is currently switched off. So let's take a look and see what happens when we, if we are able to uh, stream a full HD file from the server using your Aztec Powerline adapter to this particular laptop, which is currently running on backup battery. Okay. So we're already in a network. I'm going to access a trailer, a full HD trailer. Please take note on both the audio and visual, and then we'll take note on the connection rate. Okay, it looks fine, audio and visual. Let's take a look at the connection rate, shall we? Now, this is the Aztec utility, and we will track the connection rate of the power line adapter to this utility. So, let's take a look at the connection rate. Connection rate is um, looking at approximately 64. We'll obviously take the lower reading, so it looks like 64, 65 Mbps. All right, let's go on and turn on and see what happens when we turn on the cell phone charger. Let's turn on the cell phone charger right now. The phone is lit up. Okay, now let's take a look again at the connection rate. The connection rate is showing approximately 50, 51, 52 Mbps. Oh, there, it just dropped to 45 there about, okay? Now, let's take a look and see what happens when we share a uh, same power outlet. We turn on all the interconnected equipment here. And then now, because I've turned on all the interconnected equipment, I'm going to stop this stream, okay? And we're going to stream through the PS3. It's going to be displayed on this LCD TV. Also, I'm going to have to reroute the LAN connection. As such, so that the LAN switch is connected to all equipment instead of just this laptop. All right, so let me just turn on the PS3 right now. And then we'll stream a slightly longer 1080p HD file and we'll be displayed on the LCD TV, okay? Okay, so it's found a network. We're in the network. We go to the folder that contains the HD file. And we'll stream Big Bug Bunny 1080p. Okay? Now take note on both the audio and the visual again, and then we'll take note of the connection rate. Should be up in just a moment now, okay? There you go.
Okay, so there you can see some lag on both the audio and visual. Let's take a look at the connection rate, shall we? The connection rate is showing at approximately um, 40, well, 49, 50 Mbps. Okay, so now let's take a look and see what happened when we actually use the AC pass-through circuit of the Aztec power line adapter. Okay, I'm going to turn off the stream right now. Turn off all power supply to the interconnected equipment you see here. Okay. As well as the cell phone charger. Switch it off. And I'm going to turn off power supply to the power line adapter as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and plug it into the AC pass-through circuit of the power line adapter. Okay? Of course, we have to do the same on the server end as well, so why don't you follow me? Okay, so here you can see we have an H, uh, Aztec HL110 EP power line adapter. Let me just turn off the power supply to this interconnected equipment. Okay? I remove the interconnected equipment plug and plug it into the AC pass-through circuit of the um, Aztec HL110 EP. Okay? There you go. Turn it on, boot up the interconnected equipment power supply and we'll head on back to our entertainment station to stream the same 1080p HD file. Let's go. So I'm going to turn on the power supply to the power line adapter as well as the interconnected equipment. Oh, I'm sorry, only the switch. All other interconnected equipment has still been switched off. Okay. And then now we're going to stream it again. to this laptop and we'll take note on both the audio and visual of the stream as well as the connection rate in just a bit. Okay, so just one second here while I access the network. Okay, here we go. I'm going to stream the same 1080p trailer, Toy Story trailer. Okay. Okay, so take note on both the audio and visual, and then we'll take a look at the connection reading just a bit. Okay, again, audio and visual looks fine. Let's take a look at the connection rate. Now look, the connection rate is showing, what is that, 120 Mbps. Okay, so let's go, let's, let's go ahead and turn on the, um, or share the same power outlet through the power strip. You turn on all interconnected equipment and the cell phone charger and then I'm going to stop the stream and we're going to stream it from the PS3 and again we're going to check the connection rate in just a bit. So let me just boot up the PS3 and it will be up in just a moment. There you go. So we'll be in the network in just a second. There you go. Okay, so we're in the network. We're again going to try and stream the same kind of PhD file. Big Buck Bunny. Okay. So note now that by plugging the power supply of the interconnected equipment into the power line adapter, we are enabling power sharing. And as we've seen a moment ago, it does um, improve the connection rate to a certain extent, okay? So while this is loading again, pay attention to both the audio and visual and then we'll take a note at the uh, connection rate again. Okay, audio and visual seems fine. Let's take a look at the connection rate, shall we? You can see the connection rate is reading at approximately 124, there about, 124 Mbps. Okay? Now let's take a look and see what happens when we include a common SPD or surge protection device to provide protection to both your interconnected equipment and your power line adapter. I'm going to turn off the stream right now. I'm going to turn off power supply to all interconnected equipment and your power line adapter. As well as your um, um, cell phone charger. Switch this off, and then I'm going to include a common SPD, search protection device, 
What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to unplug the power line adapter, plug the SPD onto the strip, such, and then plug the, SP, um, the power line adapter onto your SPD as such. Okay? Turn on power supply, put up interconnected equipment and cell phone charger, and then now we're going to stream the same 1080p HD file through the PS3. Oops, one second, just turn it on. There you go. PS3 will be up in just a bit. Once it's established connection, we will again stream the same 1080p HD file from the server. And we'll take a look at both the audio, visual, and then we'll check, we'll check on the connection rate again. Okay, so it should be finding the network in just a bit. There we go. So we're in the network. We're in the folder. Same 1080p HD file, Big Bug Bunny. Okay. All right. So while, while this is loading, again, we've just added a common SPD to provide protection to all equipment and your power line adapter. We'll take a look at the connection rate as well as the audio and visual, which we're about to see in just a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, as you can see, the audio and visual seems to be fine. Let's take a look at the connection rate, shall we? Now, the connection rate is showing approximately... What is that? Um, 81 Mbps? 80 Mbps or, or thereabout. So you can see the connection rate has dropped considerably from the 120 Mbps. So if you include a generic surge protection device to provide protection, the power line um, uh, adapter uh, performance will drop. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to include um, power line ACE into both your power line adapter setups mm. and we'll do the same test again. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the power supply to all this equipment here. And turn off all the interconnected equipment power supply as well as the cell phone charger and then I'm going to replace this common SPD or surge protection device with a power line ACE. Now here I have a power line ACE model it is also a performance proven lightning isolator and surge protection device just turn this power supply off remove the surge protection the common surge protection device from the setup and include power line ACE into the setup right here now take a look very closely. I'm going to plug the power line, uh, the power line adapter into the de de dedicated outlet of the power line ACE, and the interconnected equipment power supply will be plugged into the power line ACE and not through the AC pass-through outlet of the power line adapter. Okay, I'm just turn this on right now, and we'll do the same on the other side as well. Okay, again I have to turn off the power supply to the uh, equipment here, so let me just turn this uh, off. Turn the power supply off, and this is another model of the power line ACE, which is again a performance proven lightning isolator. I'm going to remove this, the power line adapter, from the socket. Power line adapter will be plugged into the power line ACE, dedicated outlet of the power line ACE as such. Interconnected equipment plugged into the power line ACE, and not through the um, AC pass-through circuit of the power line adapter. Plug it into the wall outlet, turn power supply on, boot up interconnected equipment, and just like this, we're going to head back to our entertainment station to stream the, the same 1080p HD file. Okay, so let me turn on all interconnected equipment power supply here, as well as the cell phone charger, and we'll boot up the PS3. The PS3 should be up in just a second, and we'll take a look at the um, audio and visual, and then we'll look at the connection rate again. Now remember, we've just included power line A's into both your setups uh, without using the AC pass-through outlet of your power line adapter. Okay? Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're in the network. And we're going to stream the same 1080p HD file, Big Bug Bunny. 
Again, please take note on both the audio and visual, and then we'll check on the connection rate, okay? Should be up in just a second. All right, here we go. Audio and visual looks pristine and flawless. Let's take a look at the connection rate, shall we? Okay, as you can see, the connection rate is showing approximately 143 Mbps. And you remember, when you use the AC pass-through outlet of the power line adapter, you manage to get about 120, 122 Mbps. So now it's showing approximately 143 Mbps, which is approximately a 20 Mbps increase when we use power line ACE. Okay? So not only that, we also provide lightning protection to both your interconnected equipment and your power line adapter because power line ACE is also a performance proven lightning isolator. Now you can expect power line ACE to be available globally as soon as we get a global partner. The reason we need a global partner is because we anticipate the projected sales demand to be beyond our capabilities as soon as power line ACE has been launched. Now we're just waiting for the right time to launch power line ACE and we believe that 2011 is the correct time. So if you feel that you are the correct partner, we urge you to contact us because investment opportunities are still open. So thank you so much for following us and for your time. My name is Kelvin Simmons from EcoDream Venture and remember with power line ACE, you will never miss a bit.